What up citizens and welcome back to another beautiful day of La La Land. I am at one of my favorite brunch spots in all of LA. I'm with Baby Lips, you can't see her because she's doing the filming, that's why I'm hands free right now. Anyways, know you guys miss me, I miss you guys too. Baby Lips miss you guys too, we're about to get it in. This place has the best pancakes, blueberry pancakes I have ever had. Baby lips are here at the Grove, yes. and here's the funny part about my love right here. So we're in shape, and we need to get some workout clothes. We need we're to get not fit. in shape. We're trying to get in shape. Uh, correction, and we need to get some workout clothes, and we need to get like ourselves put together. Baby loves like, oh, well, let's go to Nordstrom's at the Grove. What? Guys, athletic here. guys, guys, guys. They sell athletic gear. I understand, but like you don't have to get like Fendi's, Fendi's yoga pants. It's not Fendi, they have like Nike and Adidas stuff. So anyways, we are headed to Nordstrom. We're also headed to, we're also headed to the Nike store, which this place has like the most epic Nike store ever. And I don't know, I feel like we need running shoes. We need, uh, I need like, you know, because I'd be in there lifting the whole gym. You know what I'm saying? Like straight muscle beach. You can't see it. I'm flexing right now. But anyways, I need like some some running shoes for cardio. So I feel like that's the easiest way to lose weight cardio. Um, but I'm also need I'm gonna need some more than that. What else do I need? Shorts. Shorts. Basketball shorts. What else do I need? You need like a cute gym bag. She said a cute gym bag. <laughs> Gotta love her. So this is the act of session that Veronica was speaking so diligently of in Nordstrom's. It's after where I don't know. Like it is. It's so weird. No, it's it it is it is it is it is. Look, Adidas has a pink T-shirt, guys. Okay, so let's see, let's see what Adidas thinks this pink T-shirt's worth. Forty bucks. That's not bad. It's not bad at all, actually. Okay, citizens, what you guys think about this? Or this one? Or this one. Rock has decisions, decisions. So this one. Or the all black. Or this one. Or the black on black. Maybe we should get all three. She said maybe we should get all three. She's so cute. Hey guys, I don't even know if you can see these, but these babies are glittering. I've never heard of APL. But these joints right here, look at this. This is glitter. Guys, you see that glitter, glitter, glitter. Look at this. It feels like little, like, uh, little, little frosty joints on here. Um, it is, how much are these shoes? This one is, zoom in if I can, if I can. It is $159.95. But look at the lace on them, gold trims. You think baby lips are like that? I don't know. This is the entire men's workout section right here in Nordstrom for shoes. This is it guys. One more pan. This is it. Bruh. Finally, the Nike store guys. The Nike store. What do y'all think about these joints right here? These little um, Nike Luna fabrics, whatevs. These joints are like hilltops, fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Are you supposed to wear yeah. this? This is socks? one of the ones that Veronica's in love with. Um, you see that? Are these good for running? It's a for running. What do you guys think? On the comment box below. Let me know. Alright, so Dustin's about to try on some shoes. Honey, yes. show us the shoes you're trying on. We don't have that on the 11, but we do have 11 and a half. That's kind of a popular man size. Dustin's picking out the most popular shoe. We're gonna have to get him a one day ship if he likes it. These are the ones he's trying on first. Those are those dope dopes. Bruh. And they're worn one. Try them on. Side. Yeah, stand up and twirl for us. He loves them. 
Like these shoes are everything right now. They feel good. Oh my god! I've they never fit seen. perfect, don't they? These things hug. They hug your foot. They hug your ankle. Like I've never had shoes that felt like this in my entire life. Nike did not sponsor this video, <laughs> but if y'all want to, uh, description box below. Hit your boy up because I am so down for these shoes right now. The workout videos are about to get hella real on this channel. So if you guys want some of that inspiration, some of the motivation, stay tuned because your boy's gonna be putting in mad work right now. With these joints, I don't know, man. That's that hot fire. Hot fire. Yeah. <laughs> this is number two that he's about to try on. So this one essentially is this this one essentially the same one minus the like the ankle support. Which by the way, if you guys don't know anything about that ankle support, son. Like, it's like, it hugs you. Like, it hugs you as you, like, live your life. <laughs> His reaction is not the same. That feels good, though. I promise it does. That feels really good, but that ankle support is everything. I'm not sure if I can ever wear a regular shoe again. <laughs> like, this feels hella good, but... I mean, come on, man. Nah, that ankle support. Okay. So me and Baby Love got our shoes. The shoes look pretty dope. Like they look, they look pretty on point. And I'm excited to work out in them, man. I, I honestly cannot remember. I think it's been almost a smooth year since I actually really shoes. looked up. And yes, yes, we do have matching shoes. Okay, guys. So literally just heading home. And the funny thing about why we're so excited to be going home right now is because we started watching this brand new show. It's a Netflix series called Stranger Than Fiction. I think it's called what? Stranger Than Fiction. Oh, I thought it was called Strange Things. It actually might be called Strange Things. <laughs> <laughs> <Is> it? <laughs> it actually might be called Strange Things. One moment. We're going to look it up. We're going to come back. <laughs> so it's we're back. Stranger Things. We're back. And it's not Stranger Than Fiction. It's called Strange no. Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Guys, if you have a Netflix subscription, make sure to check this show out. Like, it's very intriguing. It's a very popular show, and I i haven't heard much about it until I heard about it, and then it was, like, everywhere. I was skeptical. We were, like, it was late last night. We weren't quite tired, and, like, you know you just, like, randomly scroll through Netflix, which, by the way, could be an activity in and of itself. You could just scroll through there for, like, hours. For the rest of your life, honestly. Um, but anyway, Dustin was like, oh, let's watch Stranger Things, and I was like, uh, that looks dumb. <laughs> but we watched it anyway. And oh my gosh, it's kind, it's like, you know, a show you watch it and okay, now I have to watch another one so I can see what happens. So if you have not seen it, you should like stop watching this right now. Spoiler alert. Because I'm about to continue to talk Spoiler about it. Spoiler alert, okay? So we only watched one episode and it, and so what happens is this little boy and his, well, these little boys are playing this game, then they have to go home and one of the little boys gets abducted or kidnapped or killed or whatever happened to him by this like alien force right and then like i'm not really like so great at like she's she's doing stuff. a terrible anyway, job as you notice by my face when she's talking anyway, right now this like little girl appears who's also got some crazy stuff happening Honey. with her what she did i know and but she's like hungry you're doing this show and such so justice they call the guy calls you know who he thinks is child services to come and like help her and like they kill him and then they try to take the girl meanwhile the girl has these crazy powers and the shit just gets real so and you know during all this happening the little boys decide to go look for their friend and somehow some way they end up coming face to face with this girl in the forest, okay? Now, what happened to the little boy? We only watched one episode, so we have no idea. And for those of you who do not know anything about this show, I apologize, but Veronica just hacked it up. That is not at all. That is what that, happened. No, Don't so listen, it's happened. not an that alien force. It's not an alien force. It's like a government concoction. The government How essentially- How do you know it's not an alien? How do you know? It was shaped like an alien. Was we'll, it not? We'll see. Everyone we'll was scared of it, then we'll, it got out. We'll see. Alien. So, so at the end of the day, it's it's a, it's a really great concept. The plot thickens because now it's like 
the little boy gets abducted, and now nobody can find this little boy, and now it's like the little girl oh, the little is now boy, in like, the picture. The little boy like called his house, and his mom could like hear him struggling, and then the line goes dead. Anyway, yeah. here's what I think is gonna happen, because we're gonna bang the rest of these episodes out tonight. Yeah. I think that wherever or whatever happened to the little boy, I think this weird little girl knows and can, is going to help his friends find their friend. I think the little boys are gonna help hide this little girl. I don't think they're gonna tell anybody that they have her. I think they're gonna hide her. And I feel like the little girl is gonna help them get led to the little boy who is either A, in a situation where he's about to get turned into whatever the heck that little girl is, B, he's dead, or C, he is the little girl, and that little girl is really him and the alien combined. <laughs> um, we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> we honestly don't know. And as you guys can see about all the excitement in Baby Lips' eyes, it's a great show. Make sure to check it out. Stranger Things. Um, Listen, you guys should know I get really wrapped into shows very easily. She so does. if I don't like something, just know it's not good because I can get into anything. We just got done binge watching. Speaking of Netflix and good shows and getting into stuff, we just got done binge watching Narcos. Oh my God. Don't even, don't even get Pablo started. Escobar. I knew nothing about Pablo Escobar before which I like literally I just knew that somewhere out there is a guy whose name was Pablo Escobar I knew nothing else about him so let me just tell you guys after watching that show I don't I don't I found myself not knowing who the bad guy was yeah like seriously like you don't know who to root for yeah. because though Pablo's a terror did terrible things to people at the end of the day so was the Colombian government and this is somebody that kind of uprised and was able to get poor people in these in these areas to ban with him because the government was so bad to these people and it was such corrupt government and it's like you know do you root for the individual that's that's doing terrible things or do you root for the government that's doing terrible things or do you root for the individual that you know essentially is fighting against the government but is using civilian casualties to kind of you know get people aroused and angry so they'll force the government to do certain things mm -hmm. um it's it's a it's a hard show to watch uh because it's like naturally you 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 honestly kind of confide in a character that you're you're invested in like i'm invested in this character i want their well-beings i need to see their outcome you know historically pablo escobar in the media in america has always been like this this terrible person so on and so forth but the show brings out a side in him that you would have actually never seen and behind every mass murderer criminal there's a side of them that you will never see because this is a man who had, had a family was was married loved his wife had two children um loved his kids and was building their future around them and also the poor people that met Medellin, where he was from, was building hospitals, schools, like organizations, feeding the homeless. Like, you know, that's if you're a homeless person or a poor person and the government's not doing a damn thing for you and the country that you reside in, like it's very easy to hop on the Pablo Escobar bandwagon uh, because he's feeding your family and he's feeding your kids and you know he's giving you guys health insurance, well not health insurance but medical care because he's building hospitals for poor people off of money that he made from selling cocaine. It's hard guys, it's really hard, it's really hard. Yeah, really I, I really can't speak on it. I feel like I would need a whole separate video and I would really need to sit down with my thoughts because when I tell you like I, I just I still feel speechless from watching that and I just don't know how to feel but I think that was an excellent show I actually feel like I should probably watch it again now that I like No, I, I had no idea who he was like I knew nothing about him. I had nothing. no like I had no influence from anything about who he was or what he did or whatever like the only the, the most I ever heard about him was from watching Entourage when they did that sh that movie Medellin and I still had no idea what they were talking about the whole time so uh, that's how like ignorant I am about Pablo Escobar um, but Narcos is a great show fantastic show if you guys have not seen that listen good folks uh, good folks of La La Land citizens out there we gave it five five stars five out of five it's 
that great it's of a, a show. Great it's show. It's beautifully wit written, well acted on all the characters. Like I was really like I was really feeling. I was really feeling this story of Pablo Escobar, the writers, the creators, the developers. It's pretty cool. So now, another show that we watched, Gilmore Girls. Oh my God, I watched it from season one, episode one, all the way through, and I cannot wait until November when Gilmore Girls starts again. And Dustin loved it too, do not let him, don't let his like little funny like facial features, whatever, whatever. He knows exactly who he was rooting for Rory to be with. He knows who he wanted Lorelai to be with. He was, uh, like, don't let him. Everybody slept with everybody and in that did. show. Everybody was almost pregnant with somebody's baby. Like, like uh, listen, <laughs> citizens out there, for all my female citizens that love them some Gilmore Girls, even my male citizens, guys, listen, no judgment coming from me, okay? Your boy Dustin ain't out here to judge you. <laughs> However, at the end of the day, bruh, I will never be sitting at home watching Gilmore Girls. That's a lie, because um, you're going to in November That's because me. That's because you're in the living room, <laughs> on the couch, watch it on my TV, Gilmore Girls. I have no, like, what, what's the option? Do I leave? Do I walk out of the place? Do I leave? Like... <laughs> So I sit there and I'm subjected to, you know, 30 minutes of who's the baby's daddy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, Gilmore Girls, that's a completely different topic. For those of you guys who uh, were watching this and supporting us until we said Gilmore Girls, I apologize about that. Make sure Honey. to not make sure to not hit that thumbs down button for that comment. It's good. Um, for Narcos and for Stranger Things, thumbs up. And for Gilmore Girls. Hi, you guys. We're in the jacuzzi, but this isn't jacuzzi news. This is not jacuzzi news. Every time we think that we're done with Lost Files, we find so many more Lost Files, which just goes to show that we were vlogging during our hiatus. We just weren't editing and posting because we have so many more Lost Files and some of them are so good. So we'll just start mixing them in again. Well, not that we ever really stopped mixing them in, but we'll continue to do that. So the citizen of the day, Bum, bum, bum! Shut up! Yeah. Let Chanel make this so easy, you guys. Chanel is walking through Citizen of the Day right, right now. I know more people <laughs> are watching these videos, but she is just owning it. Okay, so here we go. So today, because, you know, the original thought behind all of this was to encourage engagement and interaction and us wanting to get to know you guys. I think today, I would love for everybody that watches this video. Everyone. <laughs> everyone. Tell us something about you. Something that, what should we ask for? Not like something cliche. Let's get some dirt, man. Let's get people ooh, to get real. Ooh, dirt. Tell us, ooh. Tell us your most embarrassing work story. And you guys do that and if how many people or, need to do it? Or or school story. Work or, or school. school. If or you school. Don't, if you're not in work, then tell us your most embarrassing school story. And then if we get how many people to tell us their stories? We gotta give a real number. Twenty? That's ambitious. Twenty. Okay, 20 people to both thumbs this up. Tell us your most embarrassing work story. And then hashtag in the post that I'll, the Instagram post that I do tonight. Come over, hashtag my most embarrassing, just literally just hashtag my most embarrassing story. And then put like my most embarrassing work story or, or my most embarrassing school story like in the hashtag under my Instagram post that I'll do tonight. Um, Dustin and I will do a video on our most embarrassing work <laughs> story. And I promise you, I don't even know you guys is. Mine will trump everybody's. It's so gross. No, I'm pretty sure mine will trump everybody's. That's that's deep. It's are, time to get are we re are we ready to go that deep? It's that's a great. You guys you are guys, going to, you guys are going to be, totally flabbergasted. You'll be and mostly, yes, I said flabbergasted. You'll just be mostly disgusted at me mostly, but like, if we're gonna be friends, we need to be friends with like no conditions. Yeah. 
forehead though? I had, oh, first of all guys, who has a bigger forehead? I do. Anyways, with that being said, dude, dude, re relax yourself, okay? Relax, relax, relax. What's up, Bella? Oh Dabbing my God. on these haters. How is the dabbing on these haters? How is that used towards me? Anyways, much love, guys. Go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and for the best family on the damn two. Hey, oh, oh, oh.